Hello everyone, to mark Valentine's Day I'm wearing my I Heart Vacuum Cleaners hoodie although I must say it is a bit tighter than it was when I first got it need to lose a bit of weight and what better way to lose weight than doing some housework killing two birds with one stone, you're cleaning your carpets and you're getting a bit of exercise into the bargain and Today, well, for the whole month of February, I am using the SIBO Felix PET. So regular viewers will know I've brought back the Vacuum of the Month series starting in January. And this is February's Vacuum of the Month and we're halfway through February, more or less. So I thought uh, I'd do a little update, tell you how I'm getting on with it. And we're going to give this SIBO Felix a Valentine's makeover. That'll be exciting for you. So yes, I'm enjoying using it. It's uh, very nice to use a bagged machine after January where I used a bagless machine and I was having to empty it all the time, getting dirty and dusty. Obviously, this is bagged. I'm not even having to look at the dirt. I can forget about it. And that's how it should be, I think, with a vacuum cleaner. You don't want to be seeing the dirt swirling around. Well, I don't like to see the dirt swirling around. It's novel at first but you soon get sick of having a dirty looking vacuum cleaner in the corner. But this cleaner, no matter how much dirt is inside it, will always look smart and I'm gonna make it look a bit more different in this video. And uh, at the end of the video, I'll be doing a bit of a, a clean for you. I'm gonna put some dirt down on the carpet and the hard floor and show you the Felix in action because it doesn't just look good, it performs well and this is certainly one of my top recommendations if you're looking for a decent quality bagged upright vacuum cleaner this is the one I recommend the most not sponsored by SIBO I've never had a penny from SIBO or a free SIBO vacuum I still like these machines this is based on personal use uh, using the Felix for many many years okay well because it's Valentine's Day as I said, I'm going to do a little bit of a Valentine makeover with this SIBO Felix. There are quite a few models available of the SIBO Felix, but the basic machine is more or less the same. It's just the colour of the machine and the colour of this, which is the exhaust filter, believe it or not. So if you go on SIBO's website, look up SIBO Felix or any other place that sells them, you'll see lots of different colours to choose from. And if you want one with roses on or peonies or leopard print, you can have one. But no matter what Felix you buy, you can change the look of it by simply changing the filter. Now the filter is not only an attractive item on a vacuum cleaner, but it's also practical because it's the exhaust filter. This cloth filters out the exhaust air. On the PET version, it is a higher grade filter. That, that's the main difference between the PET version and the standard one. The PET version also comes with the mini turbo tool. So for Valentine's Day, I'm going to give this SIBO Felix PET a bit of a romantic facelift by changing the exhaust filter. So these are available separately. You can buy them Amazon, uh, SIBO Direct sell them as well. And basically I'm going to change the standard filter, standard design filter on this SIBO Felix PET for one that's a bit more in keeping with today, St. Valentine's Day. In order to keep your SIBO Felix operating efficiently, you should change the exhaust filter around once a year. It's not washable in the past. I have washed them but it's advisable to change them once a year to keep the machine operating efficiently and of course to keep it filtering the fine dust effectively. So we need to remove this filter so we'll pretend that I've been using this for a year. There are two clips, one at the bottom and one at the top. We just need to release the clips and I've shown you this on a previous video where I serviced my mum's very old SIBO Felix, but I thought I'd show you in this video as well. So there are two rings, they're silver coloured on this particular machine, top and bottom, so you need to remove those. Again, here at the bottom, you'll see a black clip with an arrow, so you need to move it in the direction of the arrow to release it. Just push, there we go, and then we can take the lower band off. We now need to remove the filter. You'll see it's joined here at the back. 
So we need to loosen it from either the bottom or the top. Gently pull it away. There we go. And remove it from the little slot in the back of the housing. It's going to come off. There we go. So here's the exhaust filter. This hasn't had a lot of use, but you can see it's starting to go black. That black is from the carbon dust that the electric motor produces. As I said, this is a higher grade filter to a standard Felix. So if you want extra filtration, you can go for the SIBO Felix PET, or you can upgrade. This filter does cost a bit more than the standard patterned filters, but if you want the cleanest exhaust air, go for this filter. There's still a lot of life left in this. Normally, when you replace them, the whole thing will be black. Okay, so we've taken off the old filter, and we're going to take out our new Valentine's filter. So they come in a little packet like this, and they're on a cardboard tube. So you can see here, slight difference, obviously it's clean because it's never been used. We've got the fabric layer, the decorative layer, but it also forms part of the filtration. And then we've got the large filter area. And you can see on the PET version, we've got an extra filtration tabs here to seal in the dust even more. And I'm not sure if the, never really looked at these very closely. Yeah, the actual filter material does seem a bit thicker. It is, it is different actually. So if you suffer from allergies, it's well worth getting the upgrade. And as I said, even if you've got a standard SIBO Felix with a standard filter, you can always upgrade with this filter. It is more expensive, as I said. But if you just want to have a bit of fun and change the look of your vacuum, you can choose many different designs and you can actually buy a black SIBO Felix with this design. If you haven't got SIBO Felix and you like this design, you can buy it. And I think at the moment at SIBO.co.uk, there's 20% off this particular model and some other ones. So to fit the new filter, obviously we want the hearts the correct way up. First of all, we need to insert this rigid end into the slot in the middle. So actually, I'll just open up the bag door and then just pop it in like that. And then just gently wrap the filter around the body. Make sure it's correctly in position. And then the other rigid end needs to slot into the middle slot. So it's a little bit tricky, but not it's not too difficult as you can see. There you go, make sure it's fully in, it should be flush. Just double check it's okay. Yep, that seems fine. And then to secure the filter in position, we need to put the rings back. So starting with the top one, just pop the uh, ring along the top find the place where it feels it's going to fit it was about that position and then basically you just push the black clip forward until it clips onto the silver band and then we do the same with the one at the bottom just open out the band slightly so it fits over the bottom of the bag housing again locate it where it was and then just push it together until it clicks like so and now we've got the new filter fitted and I've completely changed the look of this vacuum cleaner if I turn it on just make sure everything's fine that's great so there we go, there's the Valentine's makeover for my SIBO Felix E-Power pet model. Okay, well, the SIBO's looking all loved up for Valentine's Day, but I'm going to spoil this SIBO's Valentine's Day by giving it an awful lot of dirt to eat.
After all that cleaning, let's see how messy it is to dispose of the dirt in the SIBO Felix. If I'd done these demonstrations using a bagless vacuum cleaner, no doubt I would have had to empty it a few times during the course of the video, but I've not touched this. All the dirt I've picked up in this video is inside the bag. So let's take the bag out. Opening the bag door reveals the bag. Before we lift it out of the cleaner, we can cap off the open end using the built-in cap to make sure all the dust and dirt stays in the bag. And then we just lift out the bag. And it's quite a full bag. It was still picking up though. There's still a bit of room left in this bag, but it is solid, full of all the muck I picked up. And it's clean. I'm quite happy to handle the outside of this bag. If I was asked to use this as a pillow on my bed with all the dirt in, I could because the dirt is trapped inside that bag for easy clean disposal. So if you've got allergies I always say get a bagged vacuum. No matter how many filters, HEPA and S-class filtration that are, you might find on a bagless cleaner, you're still going to be exposed to the dirt when you empty it. So here's all the dirt. Just put in an, a nice fresh bag. Inside the bag compartment is all very clean and if we take a look at the pre-motor filter we can see that that is free of any dust and dirt. Well there you go I think you'll agree I put the SIBO Felix through its paces today it certainly is a very effective vacuum cleaner and it's one of my top recommendations for a quality bagged upright machine. You can't really go wrong with a SIBO Felix. Well, that's about the end of the video. Happy Valentine's Day to all of you, whether you're in love or just looking. Now, I know I'm wearing my I Heart vacuum cleaners hoodie, but I don't really love vacuum cleaners. I like them very much. I'm fascinated by them. I like using them. I like trying out different models, but I don't actually love them. Save your love for something with a heartbeat that can be human or it can be an animal like my little Daisy who is fast asleep behind me. So until the next video, thanks for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.